good morning fans privateer fx coming at you 21 september it's monday here calendar's pretty light we got some uh reports out of the bundesbank uh midday today there was a time when the, the bundesbank was the most powerful central bank in the world uh sort of neck and neck with the fed there for a while uh, now they've been relegated to the minor leagues, so it probably won't mean too much for Euro, but as an old-timer, we still like to watch that shit. Powell's also speaking at four. Not really sure what he can say. Um, he's probably going to try and clean up his FOMC performance, maybe take a little bit less medication, or I don't know what happened last time, but that was a was a disaster. So I'll be interested to see how he turns out uh, and turns up. Uh, so 4 o'clock today. Probably give a listen to old Powley. As far as the charts and prices are concerned, I was thinking a lot this weekend about um, whether we're going to get this huge dollar sell because of budget deficits and uh, and just uh, debt to GDP in the dollar, if we're going to have this crisis of confidence in the dollar. There are a few signs that point to that. Obviously, Buffett putting all that money to work uh, in Japan. There's a currency element to that trade um, that uh, you need to sort of keep your eye on. The last time he did this, I think it was around 2003, 2004, he just went into the derivative market and sold the crap out of the dollar. Uh, and that was based on trade deficit. Um, and a lot of those elements are in play now uh, that were in play back then. Trade deficit got smashed. Obviously, budget deficit sucks. Debt to GDP is like abracadabra you're fucked um, especially the GDP element we know the debt element is increasing massively but the GDP element is the real question uh, and if you just look around in the big cities of the world and if you look around uh, anecdotally in America obviously I live in Europe so um, the information I get is second hand um, I just wonder how much production there's going to be Restaurants, hotels, job cuts, uh, less gas being bought, less travel. I don't know. Looks, I feel it. You know, it just looks like on paper GDP has to be a disaster uh, in the next twelve months. So there's that side of uh, of the trade, and the other side of the trade is if. Uh, you know, we'd have this massive risk off moment, then there'll be a drive for safety. Ironically, safety uh, typically means dollars. Um, and safety is probably the wrong word for it. What it basically means is liquid, liquidate everything uh, and put it back into currency. And since there's a huge amount of stuff out there in dollars and huge amount of uh, risk out there in dollars, it goes into dollars, and stays into dollars. Um, and you get like a dollar safe haven trade. So you get two elements to this. Euro has been teasing us. We traded up to 119 last week and then we had the mysterious uh, sort of miracle offers. Um, Right up here, this is the hourly chart. Let's go to four hours, it's better. And then we were sort of shitting the bed there post FOMC. We had we took out some weak longs through this line here uh, and through these lows. We talked about getting ready for the big trade 117 10 or 117 the figure. This is still a massively important level although now 150 points away there's your downside level and I think top side even if you do think things are going to go a little risk off 
you just have to trade price here um, through 119 we have to get involved and through 119.19 we will also get involved with the idea that the story is for a weaker dollar um, on so many levels and the stronger dollar story is just an emotional story um, so anyway we just have to be ready for both and that's I guess that's what I'm saying as I'm talking out loud which is half the reason I do these stupid calls um, you gotta be ready for both so going into like seasonally the worst week worst month for risk we're going into a uh, the last 40 days before an election um, should be bumpy so let's look both ways um, enough said on that 119 the figure top side 117 10 the downside uh, these are the levels in the euro uh, cable I mean careful uh, if you're a news junkie and you like bashing your head against the wall with like false dawns and fake quotes or I don't know this is a news driven sort of Brexity trade now you could just leave a stop at 13060 I'm sorry uh, 13040 130 this is these highs here are 130 35 130 40 you could just leave a stop up there and then when it gets done or if it gets done see what's happening it's likely to be news driven and if it is done you might be in a situation where it's 90 bid um, but be careful with cable really really uh, dicey liquidity dodgy headline type stuff think about sterling yen last week 135.50s were amazing it's 100 points lower and then like one weird headline in a market that's short um, the script gets flipped dollar yen looks very trendy right now as in this is trending lower does not go up well at all goes down pretty well in a sort of tortoise type of way on 14 20 104 20 is is uh, the low from August uh, this will be an interesting point 26 was the low today uh, this looks like it's trending lower no coincidence that I think there's no coincidence that Buffett bought all those Japanese stocks and since he has we've gone straight down uh, dollar yen looks like it's trending lower euro yen now in the middle of nowhere last week was a euro yen week who would have guessed that I certainly didn't um, on 23.30 the low from last week sterling yen just avoid it these two bars here tell you why we just talked about it <whistles> bang lower <whistles> bang higher everybody's fucked um, dollars are a bit of a conundrum as well um, we were ready to smash the crap out of this last week for when the um, South African Reserve Bank decision was on tap we thought they were going to cut they did not cut and so now we're just sitting here uh, dicking around if the dollar goes massively lower and it's not really risk off this can go lower um, we will not buy uh, South African Rand at these prices um, I know we're supposed to look both ways and, and we generally do look both ways but um, this is now I think a little bit silly uh, that said we're not going to fade it either because we know price can do funny things especially in emerging markets dollar max same 2117 we talked about it all last week still the same point this is a weird one here Aussie higher uh, I didn't even look at the releases if there were releases last night I know Japan was on holiday not sure why Aussie is higher but we're watching this trend line here this is sort of a risk off 
type setup scenario. Um, but if the dollar does get slammed, and again, if stocks do not get slammed, uh, which they had every every reason to get slammed on Friday, and they bounced pretty well through very key levels, we'll get to that. Uh, Aussie could go higher if the dollar goes lower. So this one, you do have to just look both ways and be prepared, and just watch your levels and and watch the story at large. Seventy three forty five is interesting on the top side downside is this trend line Aussie yen Kiwi yen same type trades we've been playing the downside on this we talked about selling up at 20 on Friday that was a good little bingo number wasn't it um, just a tactical trade this is in sideways motion trying to decide the nice thing about this is the dollar yen side um, if you're short this the dollar yen side helps carry uh, this trade lower better than higher CAD middle of nowhere um, not sure what to do with that gold also middle of nowhere this is basically sort of trending with the euro dollar chart we do know um, 1910 is important we're gonna get short through 1910 um, we do like gold higher in general but the market is incredibly long gold. A lot of, I would say, weak hands own gold and don't really understand the liquidity in gold, ETFs, this kind of stuff. So 1910 will be worth a risk managed shot, which bleeds into 1875, probably the same day, right? What you're hoping for is 1910 given uh, some cathartic sell we dance around 1870 and then a puke um, to 1830 where there will likely be very strong hands buying down there at 1800 um, so we don't think gold's going to zero but this chart lends itself to a downside you see lower highs lower highs lower highs sideways motion Watching uh, 1910. On the top side, it doesn't really get interesting until we're back through 2000. So let's just see how this goes. Although that said, just looking at this, there will be quite a few people who will have this drawn. Which is sort of short term, but maybe of help tactically. Um, what else is there? Yes. 95 was this low here from the 8th of September. We cruised through that late Friday down to 80. Opened on a gap down today, down to 96. This chart uh, is delayed. It's actually trading at 04 right now. Um, so sort of dancing near this 95, 98 level. In the cash, um, during the cash session, session Prices below 98, we'll try and be short. Uh, prices above 98, um, long side is in play, but we'll be a little bit skeptical, a little bit tentative, just because of seasonality on the long side. Bitcoin, not doing much. Uh, it's Monday. Buy a little bit of Bitcoin, dollar cost average. Um, that's what we do and we'll see tactically nothing much to do here we did trade up to kind of 11.2 11, 11,200 which is now kind of a pivot um, but bitcoins tactically it's very hard to trade so I would say avoid that where's our pal ZB um, where is she there she is Kind of a funny week last week. This bar was a little bit of annoying. 177.15. Um, just want to be core short this. Looks like we're going to do some sideways stuff. Check your auction calendar. This is deciding where it wants to go, but we think it's going to continue lower. Take a look at the dailies. More importantly, I guess, take a look at the yield. 
uh, sideways here up through 53 we'll take a visit I think to 77 trading at uh, 1.45 percent yield on the long bond it's idiotic uh, but yet here we are uh, we like short ZB and you just want to quietly sell sell high ones is basically the way we're going right now and and as we approach this 153 level we might get aggressive and start selling low ones um, in the futures market not much else to say said a lot for a Monday holy shit 15 minutes sorry about that I'll just shut up now um, Powell talking today and then we just watch uh, watch price see how things go good luck out there people ciao